Surprising new developments in the resignation of Katie ISD's embattled superintendent who says he's sick and tired of being accused of being a bully. People are reacting tonight to the very large payout Lance Hint is getting when he leaves. Levi Ismail live in Katie tonight with this story. Levi? Well, at the time when this vote was actually happening, it was so quick. Many people were heard out loud asking, what just happened? Well, now we know this is about the superintendent's contract and just how far the district is willing to go to support the superintendent on his exit. I mean, it's just, it's horrible. That's, that's not what this is about. Of all the possible outcomes from Thursday's Katie ISD meeting, this was one few saw coming. Effective January 1st, 2019, I will resign and retire as superintendent of KDISD. I'm very disappointed that he resigned. Even fewer expected to hear Greg Gay, the man behind the bullying accusations against Superintendent Lance Hint, say this was not what he wanted. I am horrified that his family is being attacked. You know, the people attacking his family are just as bad to me as he was to me. And that's the case for many in Katy who wanted to see bullying addressed, but weren't thrilled when they found out their taxpayer money would pay for a legal defense against anyone who threatened the district's reputation. If the money to pay for these legal things could be better used to serve teachers, to serve students, to serve the district, that, that's what I would want as a teacher, as a parent. That's just the beginning, it turns out. All those in favor, please raise your right hand and say aye. This vote that left many stunned. Motion passes seven to zero. Amended Hint's contract. At the time, we had no idea for what. A day later and we see the district agreed to pay Hint severance of twice his salary between now and January. That's roughly $770,000. Money some feel he's entitled to. To pay him his severance is probably the right thing to do to uh, expedite his, his, his departure. I felt like from the very beginning, he is the right person to fix the problem. There are, of course, stipulations to this contract, one being that Hint has to stay until January, until that contract is up, so that they can try and make sure to have a replacement in line for Hint. Now, as for the actual defamation lawsuits, there is no timetable for when we can expect any legal action. Back to you. All right, Levi Ismail reporting. Thank you so much. For the first time in 15 years, Clara